Hello everybody. I said I'd do a video of the weather station. Closed car door. And here it is. This is uh, the weather station. Got a 100 watt solar panel on it. This panel cost me $99 on eBay. It's one of my ground rods laying on the ground. There's the antenna. That's a Diamond X50A. Pretty good gain. Pretty good antenna. I bought a bunch of wire ties at Home Depot and not one of them worked. So there's all those wire ties holding that thing up. The hands kept breaking off of them. There's the rain gauge. There's the wind thingamajigabob up there. Just going around and around. And this has got an electric fence around it because they have cows and they will eat it. There are some cow prints out here too. So they've been here. Got some spare parts laying around. Okay. So this is built on a pallet that we found. Movable. I may, um, I might take it down once we get the house built and put everything on the inside. An electric fence. No, I'm not going to grab it and show you. It's a fence charger. That's all there. The white box underneath there is spare parts and tools. In case I get out here and can't find something. Everything's grounded to death. There's ground wire around the bottom. Coming over here to the ground rod, the main ground rod. And that's a copper pipe. You have to use non-ferrous metals for the um, wind thing. It runs on magnets. I am going to disconnect the electric fence. This is hooked up in such a way that when you take the gate down, the electric fence stops working. So you can see all kinds of ground wires there. I could have put all these extra wires on the inside of the box, but I didn't. This uh, whole system is usually the battery. I mean, a 100 watt solar panel is charging that battery just ASAP. It's, it's charged by now. These things on the top of the box, those are the little car LEDs, decorative LEDs, and they work. So I'm going to open it up. There's the insides. See, I've got fuses, and it looks like my. Um, this is the. It's upside down, maybe you can see it. This is the weather station. It's 51 degrees out here. It feels a lot warmer. That's an altimeter um, 800. It really a decent little thing. I had a fan in it. That's that. Uh, I built a fan and a filter system to ventilate it. I got the battery inside here, so the fan and the filter system uh, is set up in such a way that it keeps the spiders out. That's uh, sandpaper. That real coarse grit sandpaper. It'll help keep the thing clean. But I didn't take into consideration when I put that van in. It's, it's wired directly to the solar panel so that when it stops charging, the fan shuts off. That way I don't use current with the fan. But I could have gone ahead and used current because it's just not going to matter. Not going to matter at all. This is an ICOM 2AT radio right there. And uh, I'm using a tiny track TNC. I'm used to the KPC3s. 
the KPC 3 Plus. That's what we used to use when we were messing with this stuff, but I'm not now. I'm not really satisfied with the KPC 3. I might change it out later. Um, over here, this is my charge controller. That charge controller came highly recommended by all the little guys online. It's only like not even 9 o'clock out here. I think it's like 8 o'clock. And you can see that that battery is already charged. It's a little motorcycle battery. It's working great. I'm not worried at all about this thing ever going dead. I built one in... Uh, I built a APRS digipeter with weather and everything on it up in Wyoming on solar. And it ran for years and years and years until um, uh, BLM got stupid and sold the site to somebody who didn't give it on. So we lost that site and we lost the equipment that was in it because they kept it really nice of them. So this is uh, just a cool little thing. Everything's fused. Um, I'm not sure I want to give out the call sign and everything. I think I already did once. It's KJ78Z-3 if you want to look it up on Find You. And uh, that's what it's all about. This thing's grounded, like I say, it's grounded to death. On the back side of it over here, Ouch, my knee just snapped. There's the solar panel connection. And there's a on-off switch right there, so I can just turn the thing off if I need to. That's all there is to it. Uh, I need to replace that fan just to keep it ventilated, but it's not a necessity. So, but... The septic tank guys just left, and they're going to give me an estimate on hooking up, putting in a septic tank. Kind of excited about that. Have somewhere to go. Let's see what the estimate's going to be. Most of them have been really high. I mean, really, really, really high. Anyhow, that's my weather station. Underneath there, like I say, is a box of tools, equipment, stuff that I need that if I get here and realize I don't have it, I've got to drive a hundred miles to get it. But that's the end of this video. If you like them, make sure to subscribe. I know they're not much, but what the heck, right? Have fun, everybody.